In this clip I will take you step by step through painting this easy sunset with acrylic paint on canvas board. I will share with you the colours and techniques I have used to create the image to keep it as simple as possible. So let's get on with the tutorial. For this image I started sketching the areas, the main areas of the image and you will also see this image featured in a future clip called Acrylic Do's and Don'ts and the main reason that I'm using this image is to show how when planning an image and painting an image you need to paint the background for the foreground. So you'll notice that I have broken this into clear sections and I am painting the background before the foreground. So I'm starting with the sky, I am painting the area where the sun will be white and then I am blending as quickly as I can before the paint dries and this will be more one of the main features of the do's and don'ts is that you will need to work very quickly. So I'm starting to blend in yellow, I've started with white, I've got cadmium yellow and I'm trying to blend as quickly as I can with the filbert brush. Um, all of the brushes and paints that I'm using are in the descriptions below. I will then blend orange and I have in areas mixed yellow with orange so that we've got a transition between the shades and then at the top of the sky I've used red so here I am using orange this is just the orange straight from the tube and then I have red at the top as I've said and we've got a mixture of yellow and orange So you may have noticed there were some little splashes of water went onto the painting. This was because my paint was starting to dry even though I was trying to work really quickly. So if you notice that you your paint is going a little bit dry, the best thing to do is to spray some water with a mist, not the, the sort of splatters of water that went on with mine because I had it on the wrong setting. You should have a mist of spray and I will put a link in the description below of a good mist spray that you can get from the links. So now I'm going to add in some clouds with a cotton bud because this is a small image and the clouds are going to be thin and small. Rather than adding them on with cotton wool I'm going to add them on with white acrylic paint and a cotton bud and then afterwards what I will do is blend in the white with a flat brush just to blend in the orange paint whilst it's still wet to get some tones on the bottom edge of the clouds to make them look 3D. So now I'm going to start filling in the mid-ground layers of the painting and I'm going to start by mixing in some mid-tones so that we have some areas of depth and we get the illusion of depth so I've mixed up some brown umber, white and orange and it's going to get gradually darker as it moves towards the right.
Now that we are moving towards the foreground, we need our areas to be darker so that they stand out. So I have started to use brown umber and as we are moving towards the right, because this area is getting darker, because it's under the shade of the tree, it will have areas of black mixed in with it to make it look darker to indicate the shadow. so detailed it needs to be sketched out so that we know roughly where all the branches are going to be so I was sketching this out with a mechanical pencil now I'm going to paint in the main areas of the tree with a flat brush and brown umber mixed with black the reason I'm not using black is because I don't want it to look too harsh. Although it's da dark and it's in the foreground, if I use black, it's going to look too harsh. But I just want to identify the fact that it's one of the darker areas of the painting. I'm then going to get a smaller flat brush to paint in the leaves of the tree. For this last area of the midground, I am mixing emerald green with brown umber to make this area of the ground. If you found this tutorial useful, make sure you check out the acrylic playlist where you will find more tutorials and reviews that relate to acrylic painting. Don't forget that the links to all resources used in today's tutorial are in the description below. And if you would like to see more content like this in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of future content.